wanna lock you down I know you're not mine, it's just my turn But we can still have fun for now No, I never wanna play happy families What's up, what's up, what's up my fellow creators? Welcome guys, I hope you're having a phenomenally beautifully blessed day Welcome to another moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Guys, I just want to let you know it is a true honor being here, giving you guys these readings, my prayers that they find your hearts in the best of light, and if they are resonating with you, and even if they're not, my prayer is that it reminds you that you are the one that's in power and that you have control over this now moment to take back that power, seize the day, carpe diem, and make the changes that you need to see in your life right now for you, okay? So, guys, I just truly am honored to be here. I thank you for sharing your most precious asset with me, your time. And today we are doing a reading in the path that I'm on for the collective. So, in other words, am I on the right path? <laughs> am I doing the right thing? What do I need to know about my path source? What do I need to know about what's next? Yeah, let's see what's coming out, guys. So, let's see what source has to say. I felt like this was a important one to do i tried to do a different one and source told me no so we're just gonna do this one so see what comes up about the path that the collective is on what do they need to know about the path that they're on source what messages do you have for them in regards to the path that they're on what messages do you have for the collective in regards to the path that they're currently on that they're following what is the outcome that's coming for them? What is happening for them? What messages do they need to know? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get into it, guys. Let's see what's coming out. All right. What messages do you have for the collective source? The path that they are on. What do they need to know in this now moment? Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at you guys. We've got the queen of coins followed by the empress, both in the upright. Ooh, beautiful energy. Definitely exuding divine feminine energy right now, collective. Like you are protecting yourself. You're connected with source. You're looking beyond the veil. You're standing in truth. You're standing in your strength, okay? And let me just say, y'all is some sexy as hell, okay? <laughs> Let's get real. Man and woman alike, y'all sexy as hell. Like, people have been noticing you, and it's kind of been a little bit strange lately. So definitely feel like there's a connection here with the sacral chakra. So I feel like that one wants to come out, and this one wants to come out. Definitely feeling like there's a sacral chakra energy being connected here. Uh, heart energy is coming through as well. Very strong, like learning to live from your heart. Maybe you guys are starting to work with uh, gemstones that are helping you guys open your heart more, which is good. Uh, good energy coming in. Uh, I feel like you guys are also in the midst of starting your own business or you are building a business and you are protecting it at all costs here. Definitely beautiful energy that's happening. Look at that queen of swords. Yeah, you guys are being sharp tongued right now. You guys are taking care of yourself. Oh my gosh. I can't with you all. The light is shining on you. So I'm just going to say, look, we have this energy again. You're protecting what's yours. You're taking care of it. You're nurturing it. You're trying to show up for it. You're trying to really uh, nourish it with seeds and, and with love and with light and attention and time. And so this is what your path is on currently. This is where you're at. Look at this energy here. This is gorgeous energy. The sun is shining on you. You guys are about to glow up like nobody's business. Let me just say, look, the fool on the bottom of the deck in the upright. Come on, guys. We can't get like you took it. You took a risk. Let me just say y'all took a risk, right? You took a risk and it was what you needed in this time. Yeah, you were afraid that it wasn't. Definitely this energy of fear coming out here with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, this could be somebody else in your life, but no, like this, this to me is like love is coming at you from all different directions. Okay, like here's the deal. Like you're standing in this beautiful feminine energy. Again, it does not matter if you're a woman or a man. This is just you owning that divine femme within you. And that is making you so attractive to people because 
it's unusual for someone to be so strong in this loving energy and this kind compassionate energy the way you speak to people they're just like wow and the way that you present yourself to people like they just see you but the thing is is that i feel like you get offered love and you're afraid to take it like you're afraid you're afraid to give love and you're afraid to take and receive love with this queen of cups here in the reverse Let's get some more energy out on the table here. Source, may I please have some more information about the path that we're on? Collective message. The Four of Cups. Yeah, you're building. Like, I feel like that's a thing. Like, I feel like you definitely have an emotional attachment to your coin. And that's something that Source is saying. It's okay to stray away from that and really find, re, like, reconnect with your emotional energy within what has to do with the family home. Okay? We have cancer energy coming out heavy right now, and that's definitely about recon... Okay, I guess you don't want that one. Shoot, I thought you wanted that card, and they weren't giving it to me. This is about you connecting with that family energy again. Like, uh, not just your family, but what it is that you want. There's a whole stack coming out here, guys. Okay. No, it was just two. Yeah, look at this. We have the Pope and the Empress. You're afraid of commitment. Something has come in for you, and you are really tripping about commitment right now. Like, you are you are considering pulling your love. You're considering ending this situation, whatever it is, and I feel like it's brand new. I feel like there's something here that's, like, really freaking you out. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. Yeah, you feel imbalanced, you feel lost, you feel taken advantage of. That's the first thing that came out, too. Source is saying that there's there needs to be stability here, balance. There's this energy of um, like five five together here with the temperance and the pope. Like, like there's this energy of changing yourself. This is not changing this other person. This is showing up and changing yourself. Let this situation unfold is what I'm hearing. You're afraid it's not a two of cups situation, but I don't know. Like, I'm I'm feeling a lot of love from this person. Um, I'm feeling like there's definitely some growth that needs to be done here. Okay, we have another little stack coming out. Look, your fortune is turning, okay? Your fortune is turning. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, like, you're going to overcome. This is perseverance. I feel like you realize you need to deal with this part of your ass. Of your ass. <laughs> this aspect that's within you. Like, this is something that you need to deal with because it's what's making you feel confined when there's no reason to. Uh, I hear that that line in that song, I, I, you know, if you feel alone, stop. You don't have to be right. Like, sorry, I don't, I don't really remember how it goes, but that's that's what's coming to me right now. But it's like, if you feel lonely, you don't have to be. Like, source is sending you somebody that you can build a, a solid foundation with, right? This is the ability to fit into social situations. This is the ability to fluidly move about. So you could definitely have some fluidity in your energy. But look, we start with four and we end with four. You go from being stable when this person offered you love it felt like this was being stable but then it's like all of this stuff started coming up and you were like whoa holy crap like i don't really feel good about this and it's like you know that you have to stay to persevere but there's still this feeling of entrapment and the reason you're entrapped is because of your own emotions like you're not giving your own emotions and source is trying to tell you like i'm trying to help you turn your fortune around for good luck like but you have to trust and honestly, I'm just going to say it. I'm getting this energy that whoever this person is that's come into your life, they're triggering you because they remind you either of a past situation when you were a child or they remind you of a past relationship and it's scaring the hell out of you. Yeah, look, see, there's hope in here. Never lose hope. Like, look at how strong you are. You've got the Queen of Coins up here, the Four of Cups and the Star coming through here. Like, you have temperance holding in the reverse, the center of the reading, just showing how you're still dealing. Like, it's like, you still have healing, okay? And this person is helping to trigger some deep healing here. But the path that you're on, yeah, look, there's justice for you. You're on the right path. Like, look at you standing up here in your strength. You're just afraid of committing to a person because I think you're afraid of losing your, like, 
singleness or like your solitude and stuff like that because it's like when you were with somebody or when you let people in it was almost like you lost every aspect of yourself and source is saying no like you've healed that aspect of yourself but now what you need to heal is the broken heart that you have yeah you're not wanting to to bend on this one like we have eight eight together here five five So you're solid with your finances, even if you're not yet, like something is going to change for you shortly. Yeah, see, like what you're afraid of is that this is only one-sided love. Like this is in your mind space, right? Like this is coming in in your mind space. You don't, you're repressing the fact that you have barriers and obstacles standing in front of you, right? Look at this, two of cups, the strength card, and the nine of wands all in the reverse. It's like you're in this energy of fearing that this is a one-sided love and source is trying to give you love, right? Because underneath that, we have the ace of coins and the upright. It's like source is trying to give you an abundant beginning, but you're just still in this energy of like dealing with repressed memories. And it, like source is just saying, like, just allow yourself to let these go. Like allow yourself to really feel into that. Why do you feel like this is going to be a one-sided love? Why do you feel like this person doesn't want to give to you like you want to give to them? And that's regardless if they've done that or you've been in that in the past. That's, that's fine, but the path that you're on is leading you to healing. Like, this is ultimate healing. Yeah, look, so you have options. We have the two of, of uh, wands in the reverse. It's like, you have options here. Definite, like, but I feel like you're, you're afraid to make a decision. You're either afraid to say goodbye to somebody and say hello to another person, or you're afraid to say goodbye to the potential, you know, or you're afraid that you're going to say goodbye to this potential love that could be coming in, okay? But this is the path that we're on, right? Look, a five of cups, yeah. Somebody's intruding. Somebody's intruding into your love life. Like, somebody's intruding on your path, yeah. See, there's, like, something that needs to fall apart here. There's something that needs to come it's to a close to bring balance because it's like you're afraid to change. You're afraid to let go and find stability within yourself. And that's what's bringing in this repressed energy. It's like the transformation. Like, you're going to have a boss that comes in, the king of coins. Yeah, you're letting go of addictions. You're letting go of... The idea that things have to just be purely physical. I don't know. Like, this is some weird energy. It's like, like you're you're happy communicating these things. You guys could be an, in, uh, an influencer. But at the same time, you're afraid to feel them. Look at how strong we started this reading. And it just kind of like, like, just turned. Let me get some more clarifying cards here a little bit. See what else. What else is coming out for the collective source? What else do they need to know at this time in regards to the path that they're on? I feel like that's the thing. Like, you're going to come overcome this belief that what other people think, it's just not going to matter anymore. And I think that you're like, well, I'm already like that, you know. But I feel like the thing is, is that there's going to be more energy that comes in saying that. Yeah, there's going to be this new beginning that happens. This is like passion coming in. This is a, a new love, right? Like, and the, don't take that as like necessarily a romantic love. This is like a new love for what it is that you're doing. You're going to just really own that. And I think this person, that's why they trigger you so much because they allow you to be yourself in this beautiful feminine energy, but you can't own the queen of cups and the upright here because that's like source is shining the light on that, like shining the light on the fact that you're scared to love, scared to give, scared to to offer, you know, your cup. You're 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 scared. Like this is like I can't do it. You know, I'm, I'm going to be judgmental. I'm going to judge this person based on my past experiences rather than letting this person experience you and you experience them. And that's what source is saying. The reason that you're doing that is because Everybody in, in their mom has been involved in your situations up until now. And it's like, can you just be with your own energy? Can you be with your own insecurities? And this is not an easy place to be at, okay? Like, I get it, Collective. Like, I really do. I feel like there's more that needs to come out. May I please have some more cards, Source? I feel like you want to clarify a few more things here. Yeah, like, with this temperance in the center, like, this is you right now feeling this way. And you're not seeing, like... 
Source is trying to pair you up with somebody that is is a high level uh, vibrational energy here, and that's your justice. But it's like you're in your mind space about it, worrying about it. You're worried about what's happening. You're worried about what's coming next. You're worried about this. You're worried about that. You're worried about oh my gosh, right? Yeah, you're confused. Look, we have the nine of coins in the reverse. You're confused, discombobulated, disoriented here. Like you're you're just not sure if this is real. And it's like you you kind of keep seeing this as like there's so much that's going to happen with this connection. There's so much that's got to happen with this connection. And Source is saying like if you stay in this negativity, like that's what's going to turn your wheel of fortune. And you're going to have a tower moment or the house of God moment where Source comes in and says you need to face reality because you're the one that's talking negatively to yourself. It's not this person. This person cares about you. This person wants to come in and help you out but there's still this energy of they have to heal something about themselves may I get one last card for this source and regardless of how this situation turns out like this situation is bringing blessings to you even if it might end in a different way like i just feel like i need to tell some of you guys that because it might not end out like a happy family a happy story after all for all of you guys yeah look this person wants to move towards you. Here you go. They're offering their passion. They're offering their heart. They're offering their love. Like, they want to move towards you. But I feel like they, too, have to go through a house of God moment. I feel like they, too, have to overcome something. You know, maybe somebody's very manipulative in their own life, and they have to overcome that, and that's what's scaring them right now. Okay, I hear one more, so I don't know. I guess Source wants one more. What? Okay. Um, I wanted one more, not a whole stack, but if you're going to bring it out, let's see. Okay, we've got the four of wands here. This is like letting go of old beliefs and patterns and thought habits. What's your old belief and thought habits? Seeing the world from a state of negativity and emptiness. We have the hangman in the reverse. Yeah, it's just time for you to change your perspective. Changing perspective on the fact that even if it's not what's meant for you, it's still meant for you. Now, look, see, in regards to love. In regards to love, guys, like, I can't, I can't make this up. Like, you, look, look, this is what you're afraid of. This is self-sabotage right here. This person's offering you love and a, and a chance for happy family. And here you are in the reverse in this King of Wands energy, self-sabotaging. Okay, that's self-sabotage. The king of wands in reverse is self-sabotage. This is not this person. This is you thwarting your own best efforts. And it's like you're so concerned about the family side of it that you're ignoring the fact that this person's offering you their cup. And you're so used to fighting. I think you're so used to fighting just to have a happy family. Like, that's what's going on here. So the path that you're on currently is trying to lead you to love. Like... That's what's going on here. The path that you're on wants to lead you to love, wants to lead you to hope, wants to lead you to equal give and take. But you are in a state of panic right now <clears throat> because it's not going how you imagined it would. And Source is saying, like, it never goes as you imagine. It goes as I imagine. And you don't know what that is. And that's the hard part is letting that go. Letting letting go and letting God, right? Like, that's that's one of those things. Let's get some oracle advice for you guys. Okay. Yeah, look, this one flipped over here. Ernest Hemingway. It says, treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. I feel like this person definitely elicits a lot of feeling from you. I feel like you elicit a lot of feeling from them. Maybe you don't pay attention to that because you're stuck in your own head. Like, does this person like me? Do they care about me? Like, do they want to be in my life? Like... You know, it says don't allow any tourists into your own private Paris. Yeah, this is like you just that energy of being protective of your energy. It's like you're so concerned with being protective over you that, you know, you're afraid to love. And then he also says to love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. And I feel like that source coming in like this person means that they love you like they do love you. They care about you a lot. We have uh, Gala Dali. She says, everything in love is invention. Create, soar over the ordinary. Yeah, so it's unusual. This is an unusual love. Look at all these unusual things on this table. 
right? Like, so this is unusual. It's not your typical story, like what people say. I mean, you've got this clock that's like melting, that's being held up by this branch over here. You've got this guy's head on the table. You got some lips. You got like, it looks like a chewed on orange. You got some stick figures fighting each other. Like, there's like two elephants that are on a platter that are fighting each other. One of them's holding like macaroni. The other one looks like it's holding some kind of salad or jello. The phone has a crustacean over it like it's just like talking about like nothing is ordinary with this and then on her oh that's crazy i never noticed that before on her jacket there's the eye the all-seeing eye the third eye see it on her jacket so it's just like you know letting things play out as they're meant to play out and i feel like that's that's the kind of love that you need in your life is something that's not ordinary it says, it is be, by being in the shadow that one emits the most light. So yeah, this is about you going into the shadow self, right? So this is cancer energy here right next to the sun, right? But the cancer energy is in the reverse. And so it's like being, a, being uh, brave enough to let those emotions arise. It says, be immortal rather than available right and i feel like that's the thing like instead of trying to do the ordinary like what you do with this relationship just try something else for once like do you and see what comes from it you know i know that sounds odd but a lot of times what happens is people make themselves so available for a relationship that they forget to do themselves they forget to take care of themselves okay i feel like these three want to come out look new love what did i say new love coming in here look at this Look at this, new love. Number 26, which is eight, abundance. It says embrace an opportunity for love, either in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Yeah, like that's beautiful. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Like just being kind to this person and just every time that they do give you their time, just being thankful that they like reached out to you. I think this person is just really busy, but they want, they want to find balance to come towards you. Like... So it's like you're you're already doing what you need to for money. You're emitting this Empress energy already. And you're definitely emitting this Queen of Swords energy. Like where you're capable of communicating what you want. And you've done that. But what is what is hard right here for you to embrace collective is to emit the Queen of Cups energy. Which is getting in touch with your emotions. And I feel like this person is definitely going to help you do that. <clears throat> Physical touch. 47. It says a tender touch can mean so much. So this is number 11, right? 11 is just doing that. Like, don't let it be ordinary. Let it be out of ordinary because that's what's going to happen here. I feel like this person is definitely going to come in and woo you. Like, and you're so afraid that it's just a immature love. And it's like this person hasn't even had a chance to show what it is that they can offer you. Yeah, so we have 55 is change. It says, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Exactly. Like, look at this. Look at this card. Like, this house in the background, the foxes. The, is that a heron? Well, they got uh, badgers right here. You've got owls up here. You've got fairies, right? It's like, there's just this energy of, like, realizing, like, love is not going to be what you expected it to be it's going to be out of ordinary because so many of us are so used to toxic love that when something else shows up that's non-toxic it kind of freaks you out because it's not what you're used to right yeah 38 honesty is essential speak with love and the truth and this card is talking about wearing a mask and it's like you're afraid that this person's wearing a mask but in all actuality it's you that's wearing a mask and the reason that you're wearing a mask is because, again, this is not anything that you've been used to. I think it's out of the or it's out of the ordinary for you, and so it's scary. It's like <clears throat> different energy, right? We have uh, eleven, eleven right here. Okay, whatever that means to you guys. For me, I know it's a love number, but honestly, it really means just doing what you know needs to be done. And I feel like what you know needs to be done in this situation is to just show up with an open heart, regardless of how it ends up. And that is what is so freaking scary for you right now because it's like, but what if my heart gets broke? Like, I'm hearing you ask that. What if my heart gets broken? And Source is like, look, love. <laughs> love and compassion, guys. I cannot make this. This card rarely makes an appearance, and it has been coming up here lately. Look, and then we have fog veiled. Yeah, so it's like when you love, when you let yourself love, you're going to see with clarity. Like, things are going to become clear for you. You're not going to be fighting this sense anymore. You're actually going to be standing in your power 
And the Empress is the mother of the tarot, right? And look, this Queen of Swords, she's she looks like she's pregnant protecting a baby. And it's like, I feel like that's the thing. It's like you're protecting your inner child here. Okay, you're protecting your soul, your spirit, because you're so afraid of getting hurt. And that's why you cannot give love. It's almost like when things go a different way than you imagine they would. So say maybe this person doesn't reach out to you for a few days. Like it gets you all discombobulated and you start to stop following your path. And so Source is just saying stay on your path because that's when you're standing in your power. And this will help translate this Empress and and help you merge with that Queen of Cups energy, which is loving, staying grounded, right? Tree grounding. So uh, this card comes out, I always hear, as, ab as above, so below, as within, so without, right? And so if you're not tending to your roots, if you're not tending to that inner uh, turmoil, then the outside will die slowly, right? And so Source is saying it's time for you to really take care of that shadow self on the inside, Take care of what's going on within and that way then you can grow strong and stand in your power, which you already do. But when it comes to love, okay, like again, I wasn't trying to get into love here, but that's the way that it went. When it comes to love, it's like you have hope for love, but you expect it to go the way that you expect it to go. Yeah, so we have dawn, new beginnings. Look at that. It's always darkest before the dawn. It was 2552 on the clock when I showed this. This is so crazy. You guys won't see it because I put an intro on here, but if you subtract whatever the sec, I think it's 12 seconds, you'll see it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, this is like energy of just saying like, look, I'm trying to offer you something new. You're dealing with that darkness right now. Really ground yourself and feel into that darkness and really overcome that. Why are you feeling so insecure right now? Why are you feeling so disconnected? Why are you feeling like you have to rely on this person to fulfill you in, in a way that you're not fulfilling yourself, right? And with Ernest Hemingway coming out, like, this definitely makes me feel like you need to come back to self-love, you know, like, journaling, writing, definitely taking time for yourself. And this Gala Dolly, like, she's, she's creating, like, whatever this is, it's like artwork in front of her. It's like still that creative energy. So then we have waterfall, effortless, right? Yeah, so when you guys come into this place of being grounded, you're going to be able to effortlessly flow into whatever this new beginning is. But that has to do with taking off this mask. Like, you guys, maybe this person is wearing a mask, but no, this is the energy that I get is this is you wearing a mask when it comes to your love. You only express love in certain ways, and I feel like that's the thing. Like, this person is is maybe holding back from you because you're holding back from them, right? It's a mirror. This is definitely a mirroring connection here, and so that's the thing. It's like they care about you. They absolutely care about you. They, they, they want something more with you, but they're just afraid right here. Look at this duality in this card with the purple and the green here, and that's... Number 18 coming through 9. It's like bringing this uh, cycle to a close. Let me get one more dragon card for you guys. Okay. And Luna. Look, the moon coming out. The moon and the sun. This is a divine pairing, guys. Yeah, we have uh, Mordwin on the bottom. Okay. Let's read these. Let's see what's up here. Asclepius. Asclepius. Let's see. If I say that wrong... Cool. <laughs> if I said it right, cool. I don't know. Asclepius. Asclepius. Okay. Asclepius was a healer of great re repute in his time. And this dragon in particular reminds us that inside us too are great healers. This grounding card too. The dragon Asclepius has particular connections with practitioners who use healing plants. These are herbalism, essential oils, homeopathy, and flower essences. He also connects with all animal healers, including vets. Add this to his rather shamanic energy and his connection to snake. He is a very powerful ally. All in all, Asclepius is the dragon of the healer and the shaman. If he has stepped into your spread today... It is to remind you that you can call upon his powerful energy and together you have an immense combination of transmutation and transformation. Accepting that your journey on earth is about life, death, and rebirth as we grow and blossom personally and spiritually. 
He has this to say, You are on the cusp of transformation. Allow me to guide you forwards along the winding road. Remember, hold on to what you know to be true, for it is your journey and yours alone. Life never stands still. It is forever changing and evolving, and together we can transmute that which binds you. This is beautiful energy coming out, just saying that staying in your power, like I feel like right now you just need to go through that transformation. It's about letting that transformation happen, but there's definitely a little bit of anxiety coming through here with that, which is, you know, hey, for any of us that have been on this journey for any amount of time, we know it is wrought with anxiety. We have to face those fears that we don't want to face, right? Let's talk about Luna. As her name depicts, her connection is to our moon and the phases within it. The mother figures in our lives, and due to her watery nature, she connects us to our emotions, creativity, and, of course, water. Which is so funny, because this is what I say in the mother of the zodiac. It's like you're already depicting that nurturing, loving individual. But when it comes to wearing your heart on your sleeve and giving your love, it's scary for you. Like, that's, that's really scary. It says, her arrival in your cards is a prompt... To fully feel your emotions, particularly if you've been ducking and avoiding their messages to your consciousness. I, I don't make this up, guys. Like, it's this crazy. She urges you to look at them, examine them, own them, and release what you no longer need. She says, if you've been feeling overwhelmed, it is okay to ask for help. This is not weakness. It is an acknowledgement that you have been strong for too long on your own. You can only fully be who you want to be when only when you embrace and acknowledge what you really feel. Only then can true transformation take place. She also urges us to follow our creative urges, to revisit latent talents, whether they are musical, written, painting, acting, and so on. She tells me these activities are good for the soul. You can lose oneself in the moment, be lost in a piece of work, and embrace the bliss which accompanies such activities. Note here, too, a little self-care wouldn't go amiss at this time if she's shown herself to you. Yeah, so self-love goes with the grounding card, too, right? And that just comes back to this, too, considering your foundations. Like, when you're in a place of self-love, there's no reason for you to question the foundations of what your love is built on because your love is built on that. It's built on trust. It's built on you trusting yourself, admiring yourself, having strength and stability and there's like a whole stack you want them all shoot okay right and that's the thing it's like they're just asking you to just be open to this this time stop wearing the mask stop being afraid of love like keep hearing it is safe to love it is okay to love don't be afraid of love anymore don't turn away from love anymore i just feel like you guys have learned how to do it on your own for so long that it's just easy to not allow others in and this person, they want to see you raw. Like, this person wants to see you in your fullness. And look at this beautiful moon in this card up here again. Just saying it's like connecting with the mother moon. You guys maybe do moon rituals. Keep doing those. That will help. Believe in yourself. Look at that. Guys, I can't make this up. Like, I feel like by nature you're a very loving, giving person. And it's easy for you to love when you know that another person isn't going to give you love. But to love when another person could potentially give you love, like that just totally kind of shakes your whole foundation. Fighting is causing you stress. Yeah, you're fighting this emotion. Like you're you're really trying to figure out a way out of it. I feel like you're ready to run. Ooh, I'm ready. Ready to run. Right? Like, like yeah, you're being gullible. Okay. So I feel like you're listening to your inner your inner voice or your inner ego, which is telling you you're not worthy of love. You're not worthy of what it is that you want. You're not worthy of what it is that you desire. Okay, the mask. I feel like the mask has been sitting strong with you. And it's like interesting because if you look at this, there's like a little cupid on this rose that's about to shoot her with the, ro the bow and arrow. I've never seen that before. It's so weird. Anyways, isn't that funny? Because I feel like that's exactly what Source is trying to do is give you this beautiful love, but you're just, you're, you're, you're freaking out. Like, I feel it. I feel very anxious right now. I feel very, like, unease at this. And it's not that this other person has anything bad towards you. It's just that you're just really freaked out, right? It says, never give up, never quit. You will make it. Exactly. Like, just keep doing you. Like, keep working on yourself. I feel like you definitely do get into this energy of working on yourself and you kind of let the whole world go around away from you. And that is, uh, that is, uh, helping you. Uh, this is a trigger connection. Yeah. This is sent to help you heal. 
This, this person is sent to help you heal this trigger within you. This is a trigger within you. Somebody giving you love when you're so used to never receiving love. Like, it kind of freaks you out. When are you going to choose self-love? Yeah, like, didn't she say self-love would be good in this time? So, again, it's like focusing on self-love right now. No matter what is going on with this connection, just focusing on self-love. Keep focusing on you. Keep grounding. Keep working on you. Keep doing what you like to do. Keep showing up for yourself because... These are the things that draw this person to you. And equally, these are the things that will help keep you in a state of calmness. Like, because right now you're kind of freaking out. Look, time to relax. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? You're freaking out. Like, that's just it. You're like really tripping out on this connection because it's sent to trigger you. But that trigger is to heal. And this is not a bad connection. Like, this is not somebody that's just going to walk away. Like, this is somebody that wants to offer you family. Because I feel like they're tired of fighting in their life, too. That's what they've come to realize, is they're tired of fighting people who are manipulative and inconsistent. And it's like they see that you have so much to offer. But the problem that you're fighting with right now is self-sabotage. You're the one that's fighting self-sabotage. Like, I feel like you could very easily just walk away from this and go deal with some, some somebody else. You're just kind of freaked out about this person. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. Someone's talking about you behind your back. Okay. Okay, so I don't think anybody knows about this connection. I don't think anybody is aware of this connection. This is interesting, though. I feel like this person... I'm trying to figure out how to say this, like, because it's an interesting energy. It's not malicious. Like, this isn't malicious. This is, this is, I feel like this person is telling somebody that they're close to how much they care about you. Like, I feel like that's what it is. Like, holding this, I'm not getting any crazy energy from it. Like, it, like this came out a couple of readings ago, and, and the energy that followed it was really, really vicious. And... No, like, this is, this is, like, I feel like wanting to be put over these, it's like they're saying, like, you know, I just wish that the collective would open up to me more. I, I know that they're afraid, and I feel their fear, and I feel what's going on, but this could also be a third party that's involved, and they've found out about it, and they're going around spreading rumors about you, too, but first and foremost, this is, this gave me that energy that this person told somebody that's really close to them, and they're telling them about how... They feel your resistance to loving them, but they want a forever with you. And it's like they're, that, that triggering is wearing off on them too, in the sense of it's making them nervous. Not that they want to bounce from this connection, but it's making them nervous. It's making them nervous. And so I think that's the thing is like they just wish that they could encourage you more. And you're probably like, well, why don't they? And it's like, because again, you trigger them. And they don't feel like they're on your level. And because they don't feel on your level, it's like they got to go talk to somebody else about you. Not in a bad way, though. It's like about, like, shoot, you know, I just really wish the collective could see how much I care about them. I wish they could see how much I love them. I wish they could just see me for who I am. But again, it's like you're wearing a mask and that in turn could make them wear a mask in the fact that they're not able to express the emotions that they have for you deeply. So... Just, it, you just have to stay true to your connection. You know, you have to stay true to yourself. Don't let, don't let this, uh, weigh you down. Don't let this get, you know, too overwhelming for you. Cause I think it's easy for the, in the situation, it's easy to be overwhelmed by this. It's easy to be overwhelmed when things are new, when things are different from how they were before. And this is just sort of saying, like, I'm trying to answer your prayers. Like, I'm trying to give you what it is that you asked for. But in order to do that, you're going to have to open yourself up. You're going to have to let go of these old beliefs because somebody wants to move towards you. But your perspective on this is that this is going to be just like the past. And it's not that you're on the wrong path. You're actually exactly where you need to be. And in this now moment, regardless of how anxious you are, you are exactly where you need to be you're doing exactly what you need to do sources highlighting though with the sun here they're just trying to highlight the fact that you need to become the queen of cups and live fearlessly with your heart on your sleeve and it's in living fearlessly with your heart on your sleeve you're gonna this person's gonna come in and they're gonna offer you way more than you initially expected them to and i think that's gonna blow you away so overall, guys, it's a good reading. Uh, the path that you're on, well, you're on the right path. You're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. You're 
you're going in the direction that you're meant to be going in. It doesn't mean that it's easy. It doesn't mean that it's not got its own issues or anything like that. What it literally means is that you're doing everything you need to to heal in the way that you need to heal so that you can overcome dealing with people who have ulterior motives or people who don't support you or people who don't care about you. Part of that is is getting together with somebody who might mirror those people that you've had in your life and that's scaring you because that's the trigger. That's the trigger that needs to be healed, okay? So go and heal, you, heal yourselves. Spend time alone in solitude and silence, li like listening to those emotions, what's going on. It's not easy. The steps are simple. It's never easy, though. But I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. I think you're doing an amazing job. It's been a pleasure to do this reading for you guys. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love until we meet each other again. Mwah. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.